Tammy. If you're receiving this message, it means you've eluded my traps for yet another year. Just kidding. Actually, it, it means that um, this is a belated birthday greetings for you because uh, I've been trying to sing to everybody on Facebook on their birthdays. And uh, I was working so heavily over the weekend that I just couldn't get to your serenade. Um, anyway, I saw Michael's comment about butter and I wanted to respond with a song called Butter by Megan Madonna, McDonough. I don't know if she actually wrote it or not, but I couldn't find the music for it. What I do have, though, is a song by her friend Christine Lavin called Doris and Edwin, The Movie. And it's basically, it's a movie in song format. And I thought this would be a fun song to do for you on your birthday. You hear the tension in those three notes? That's foreshadowing, something horrible may happen, and you may be forced to look away. The first time that she saw him was in the office canteen. He was buying a cup of coffee, three sugars and double cream. Two weeks later she saw him by the elevator banks. His hands were full, she held the door for him, and he said thanks. Now she's in love, for her it don't take much. She was in love. in the basement near the boiler room door and he works in the counting on the 37th floor no i'm not much of a mathematician but even i can see in the building of 37 floors and 4,000 employees the chances of her running into him are really not too good even though she hung out at the canyon and rode the elevator every spare moment she could but she's in love and she don't even know his name Did I happen to mention that when this building was constructed, it was done properly? That one day on the fourth floor, there was a short in electricity. It burned up walls and desks and chairs and all the secretaries, and the alarm did not go off until it reached floor 33. Floor 33, floor 33, and on the upper floors, people running and screaming and jumping out of windows to get away from the flames. It was gruesome. Another woman in the basement, she rushed up the stairs, out the emergency exit, and into the fresh air. She looked up just because it began to shower. That's when she saw her true love coming, 100 miles an hour. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. This must be angels. I'm not much of a mathematician, but even I can see the chances of him landing on her were very slim indeed. But he did, so they buried them together the following day. And even now, when I go to ride the elevator, I can hear someone say she was in love. It didn't take much. She was in love. This was not your ordinary office crush Cause she worked in the basement Near the boiler room door And he worked in accounting On the 37th floor Yes, she worked in the basement And he the 37th floor But fate brought them together Parted nevermore So here's hoping that just in case you find true love this year, Tammy, somebody remembers to buy you an airbag dress so that if he falls on you, you will be safe. Hope you had a happy birthday and uh, look forward to seeing you whenever we can meet up in Venango County sometime again. Catch you later.